Oops. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I was in fact planning on filming a video all about amaryllis today. You'll see over my shoulder the half a dozen or so bulbs that have been growing that have not yet been potted up. I thought these were all the amaryllis I had left. I have a box under this table next to me here that I thought was full of paper white daffodils and I was ready to pot up a couple of beautiful Christmas arrangements and I found something else instead. So here is the box in question. And there is an awful lot of amaryllis. Look at these poor things. They started to grow in their bag. That is two flower spikes. And this variety is apple blossom. These are the biggest bulbs I have seen. I thought I sold all but those two. Clearly I was wrong. So job number one is to get these poor things out of the bag, clearly. And I have a bucket here. This is where I've been potting up amaryllis. So I have a bucket here and it has only about two inches of soil in it. Oh, that is a squished bud right there. That one's going to be fine. So getting past the initial shock of finding a whole box of amaryllis that I forgot I had, I'm actually very excited. A lot of these have just started to grow. <laughs> Not that one, that's another squished bud. This will be really interesting to see though. This is pretty much worst case scenario for these poor things. And you can see what happens when they are completely devoid of light. They can't photosynthesize and they are almost completely white because of that. These guys will turn green pretty quick and we are going to keep an eye on them to find out exactly how they recover. I don't really need to peel this paper off at this point, but I'm going to just the ones that are loose. These are little daughter bulbs. These are going to eventually grow into full size bulbs. So that's really exciting to see. This is a flower bud. The really thin ones, those are going to be leaves. So my train of thought wandered there for a second, but I thought that I sold most of my amaryllis. And I know exactly how many I had, which means I really sucked at keeping records this year because you would think I would notice how many are there, 15 maybe? I only bought 50. I really should have noticed an entire box missing. That's on me. There are nine apple blossom amaryllis and two up there, that makes 11. I bought 20, so I sold nine apple blossom. And I have a whole bunch. Here's the apple blossom, a beautiful, beautiful pink, and the bulb size is giant. Then I have wild Amazon. That one looks like this. I'm really excited for this one too. You always find the red and white ones, sometimes the pink ones in store. I really wanted to order uh, less common varieties this year. So these ones are growing too. I have one, two, oh, there's another apple blossom. I'm gonna need another bucket of soil. So this here is perfect. These are leaves, nothing's deformed yet because it's only starting to grow. Let's do a little comparison in bulb size here. So this is the wild Amazon. This is the apple blossom. So that means that if I mix them up, it'll be pretty easy to tell them apart. My bucket is full. That is a little disappointing. I might actually just sit these out in a tray. I can spritz the roots with water. They'll grow it without water anyway, but I do like to give them a little bit of moisture. Otherwise the bulb starts to shrink a bit too quickly for my liking. So I'm going to sit these with my other wild Amazon here. Yeah, you can sort of see that there. So these ones are the wild Amazon. I have a few on the corner that are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That are this. This is Rylona. This is the third variety that I got. These ones have not yet broken dormancy. They are not starting to grow at this point. There is nothing. And these have been sitting out here for a while. Now the neck is green. They are very much alive. They're just still dormant, but there are no signs of growth yet. So they will be fine. They're just 
on a bit of a later schedule than these other ones. So I haven't sold very many of these. I haven't been advertising them. I did sell a few as bare bulbs, but I'll see if I can get those going. And I'm going to put the rest of my wild Amazons, whoops, over here. Clearly those ones need to be potted up. Oh my. <laughs> All right. So this bud's going to be perfectly fine. We will see if this one straightens itself. It might. Oops. Oh, I broke that one. One casualty, but that is a second flower stock there, so not a big deal. That is much better. That's not going to be damaged at all. Oh, beautiful. So this shelf is sort of away from the window. I'm going to pull it. I mean, you can see it gets quite a bit of light here. I'm going to pull it in front of the window a bit more just to make sure that it gets as much light as possible. And I'm sure that at least the majority of these will be just fine. We're going to let them recover for a few days. Then I'm going to do what I had originally planned on doing today, which is to pot these up and make some nice Christmas arrangements. So one, two, three, four, five, 14, 15, 16, 17. Somehow I didn't notice that I was missing 17 out of the 50 amaryllis bulbs that I ordered. That clearly tells me I need to work on my record keeping. Anyway, I'm going to finish this up and I'll see you in a few days. It's now been exactly two weeks and they've all recovered beautifully. I left them in their trays for I think eight or nine days before I brought them down and potted them up. So here they are after about 48 hours, definitely showing a lot more green than they were. And then another 48 hours after that, they're starting to straighten up, they're greener, they're starting to put on some growth. I brought them downstairs and I potted them up. I used the containers that I had. I didn't have enough small terracotta pots to plant them all individually, but I did have some beautiful darker colored larger ones that I really love to use. And it has the added benefit of stability too, because not knowing how tall these were going to get, I know amaryllis can be prone to falling over because they can be really tall and they do though like to be a little bit constricted. They like to be in smaller pots. So I compromised and I put three together in my larger pots, which will also make a much nicer display. But I really want to try to use these for cut flowers. So they're not going to be much of a display here, but I have heard that cut amaryllis can last about twice as long as leaving them attached to the bulb. So I'm going to do that today. But looking at these bulbs now, I do have some other house plants here in the way. This is the sunniest window of the house. We actually call this the sunny room. It's where we sit and drink coffee in the morning. My giant lemon tree, which you'll remember from being outside, that's going to need a haircut in the spring. That is a Meyer lemon I grew from seed. My turmeric that I brought in, I'm getting sidetracked, but there's a little update for those of you who've been following me since summertime. Back to the amaryllis, the smallest ones I have are right there. There's three of them in a shorter pan style container right there. Those are probably the shortest ones I've had. Some of them, this one is 48 inches. I measured it this morning. This is the worst one. And when I say worst, it's still obviously very okay. And when I say worst, it's obviously okay. I'm going to cut this bloom stalk off as soon as I turn this camera off. I just wanted to show you worst case scenario is resting on this pot because it can't support its own weight. But I did want to pot it up so that the roots could start to grow and then we have a better chance of saving that bulb for next year. The stalk itself though is pretty straight. So I'm likely going to cut it about here. I'll cut it all the way down to the bulb and then I'll trim it to about here before I put it in a vase. Now here are the apple blossom. I love this color. It's just beautiful. Gorgeous blush pink. And there are one, two, three. There are four open flowers on this one and two buds yet to come. Six flowers on that apple blossom amaryllis. There looks like there are four on this one, though a second bloom stock coming. 
and not overly tall too. I actually really like how some of these are on the shorter side, but the tallest one is about 18 inches so far. Now I didn't label these, but I can tell which is which because the apple blossom bulbs are just gigantic. And then the bay leaf. And then these, what did I say this was? Wild Amazon, these ones are on the smaller side. Now I potted these up, I watered them very lightly and then not again. They can handle a bit of underwatering. They cannot handle being overwatered because those roots will rot so fast. Here is the wild Amazon just starting to open as of this morning. So it looks like we have four flowers on this bulb, four on that one, and then still two more stalks ready to open. So I've been reading up a little bit on the stage to harvest amaryllis for cut flowers, and it seems to be when that papery sheath have started to pull back, the buds are um, starting to show a bit of color. And I have quite a few that are at that stage or slightly past. So I'm going to be doing that as soon as I turn the camera off today. Maybe I'll make a short for that. But that is gonna be all for now. I have quite a bit of work to do on my house plants over the next few days too. So I will see you back here next week for that video. Until then, thanks for watching.